So we have reports from the CDC from the 2017 and 18 influenza flu season where preliminary data showed estimates of about 80,000 people who actually died from the flu during that season. Now they have actually updated these numbers to about 60,000. So something I saw from Neo for President on Twitter, if the media were to report on every person who died or caught the flu each day in America, on average you would see 219 stories. That's based on the preliminary data from 2017 and 18, of course. Now, the updated number would be 167 per day. He goes on, the common cold is a coronavirus, and what you are seeing is a panic over a common cold. Stop, think before you react. Of course, that's his take on what is happening right now. So after showing him these updated totals from the CDC website, uh, Neo for president comes back with, they have us convinced us that China is manipulating their virus data when in fact the CDC is doing the same thing and admits it, which is actually true in this case. Never forget that the U.S. taxpayers are funding the vaccine injury lawsuits. The vaccine companies operate above the law here in the U.S. Now keep in mind that uh, President Ronald Reagan, clear back in uh, of November 14th, 1986, uh, the National Childhood Vaccine Injury Act, NCVIA, of 1986 was signed into law. As part of a larger health bill, the NCVIA's purpose was to eliminate the potential financial liability of vaccine manufacturers due to vaccine injury claims in order to ensure a stable market supply of vaccines and to provide so basically the uh, uh, vaccine manufacturers were actually it was dipping into their profits as far as all the lawsuits are concerned because so many people were experiencing uh, vaccine injuries and there were even there's been uh, deaths as well but it this, uh, goes on to say, this is from Wikipedia, of course, and to provide cost-effective arbitration for vaccine injury claims. Under the NCVIA, the National Vaccine Injury Compensation Program, NVICP, was created to provide a federal no-fault system for compensating vaccine-related injuries or death by establishing a claim procedure involving the United States Court of Federal Claims and Special Masters. As of October 2019, 4.2 billion, that's not a typo folks, 4.2 billion in compensation, not including attorney's fees and cost had been awarded. I highly recommend folks go to uh, learntherisk.org uh, this is actually Brandy Vaughn's website. She is a Merck uh, whistleblower. Uh, Merck, uh, perhaps the world's largest uh, vaccine manufacturer. Um, she knew the stuff that was uh, had been was being put is is being put into the vaccines, of course, and she knows as well that the public is being lied to about them. So uh, you can find out all kinds of uh, information about what's actually in these uh, vaccines, of course. So. All right, that's it for now. Happy trails.